What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know Big Flocker with the Convex Perspective, and I'm going to smash, dash, and slide on through with that little bit of energy. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. Now, right now, currently, there's a lot of speculation and rumors surrounding uh, Swifty Blue, as you can tell in the title. Has he been deemed no good? Has he been deemed no good? And there's a lot of red flags out there that suggest that he has been. Now, let's go back to a lot of these videos where... At times, I've been very critical of certain things he said and that he's done, right? I think a lot of that was done out of being naive and young. But I also said, though, that some of his actions could lead to him having serious consequences. That no one's above the program. No matter what you're doing as a rap artist does not mean that you get a pass for every fucking thing that you do. You got to be cautious. You have a, a responsibility having a platform for the people that you represent. Now... As you already know, there's been a, one video I've seen was Active War Stories. I haven't even checked it out, man, but usually his stuff is pretty good. Um, now, the other one that, that was something I noticed, right, was that Fool's community put out there that Chito Lanas quit following him. That speaks a lot right there, okay? That says a lot right there when someone that you were rocking with starts to unfollow you on IG, okay? Now, that's not to say that Swifty's been all bad or this and that you know i'm pretty sure that even when you've been deemed at times you can try to try to figure it out to clear your name right so he had to have done something totally so outlandish and unacceptable because as we already know sometimes just paying a little money is going to get you cleared you know what i'm saying but um let's look at this from a whole different perspective though just recently he was on adam 22 no jumper got a whole lot of publicity shit was promoted and whatnot couple of days later he's doing a video and he's talking about he just wants to stay home play video games and step step away from the music scene why he just got free promotion being on adam 22 channel you know swifty is talented man he can rap you know i give him that but he's made a lot of choices and decisions on the social media that you know people are looking at man like hey hold on man what about, i don't know about this dude because you know i always call them the South Sider fucking Takashi 69 because that's how he acts. He's like a, a replica, but just a Sudeño or South Sider, excuse me, you know, and, and that's the truth in it. So all these things kind of make you wonder, OK, what happened now? I find it kind of hard to believe that he would just get deemed just that quickly. I would have to think that he was probably got that to pay a huge amount of money, got scared and fled out to Arizona and Texas and whatnot. That's what I think probably happened. Now, that's an assumption. That's just me fucking looking at it from an outstander's point of view, right? Now, in addition, right, if he refused to pay any sum of money, he's going to get greenlit, and he knows it. And I think that for some of the stuff that he's done, some of the bickering and back and forth talk, right, with other South Side channels and rappers, right, I think he brought this all up on himself first and foremost, right? But if you think about it, look at the scenario, right? Who hardly ever speaks about anything anymore? on uh, social media platforms bozo you don't hear nothing from bozo no more no more cell soldier no more talking shit about the north none of that and i said that before that shit was going to end up getting shut down now i was told by someone that there was going to be someone um coming out from down that way that ha had a message for the people out that way it's not my business but it's a positive thing it's a, it's a thing that's going to pretty much put some of these people in check that are just running amok Doing what they think they can do and, and speaking on certain businesses that, that they shouldn't be speaking on, man. Now, could this also be a publicity stunt? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She goes, shit down that way sometimes gets a little fucking funny when it comes to fucking people like Swifty Blue and Whack 100. You know what I mean? You never know, right? But um, in any event, man, um, it's kind of interesting how there's been a couple other platforms have suggested that maybe he's, he's been deemed. Someone told me that he owed a huge amount of money that they basically taxed him for his actions out there and running his mouth on a lot of Southsiders, right? Now, that you got to remember that thing with 18th Street didn't make himself look good either. You know what I'm saying? There's one video he runs up on some dude thinking he's from 18th Street, and then this other dude calls him out for a fade, and he, you know I mean? No disrespect, but he peed on himself, man. And that's a bad look. And this is the thing about the game, right? Whether you're from up north, down south... Or part of any type of fucking group organization on the streets or criminal street gang is people don't fucking forget. They don't. And that's the truth of it, man. You may you may be able to hide in shadows and fucking hide behind a fucking you know a channel or hide behind this snap for so long, man, but eventually you're gonna get confronted with a situation and you're gonna see where you stand as a man. 
Have you grown and mature? Or are you still on that that outlandish fucking fuckboy type shit? Now, I don't wish anything upon Swifty. You know, even though I, I haven't liked his uh, tear tart and how we, he speaks on the North, right? You know, um, at the end of the day, man, I think that this is a... Uh, Something that people need to take a step back from, man. And look, look at uh, uh, what's his name, um, Money Sign Suede, right? Look at his situation. All this stuff is is hitting home, right? These rappers are getting a taste of the reality. They've been doing good, you know, going to clubs, performing, you know, what I mean, getting drunk and doing this and that, man. You know, why certain individuals are up there on a level four yard drinking their coffee and they're observing everything that's going on, man. And people are gonna have to answer for a lot of things. You know, there's no way around it. And like I said before, I said I believe that Smithy would probably end up becoming an example of what type of protocol that they expect out there on these channels, man. You know, um, because I'm listening to a lot of channels, right? Reactions, rappers, and the things that they discuss. There's a lot of fucking dry snitching from, from cats that claim they're active, man. It's fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Certain things, you know, you expect from those that ain't active and from journalists and civilians and, and, you know, people who are dropouts are no good. You expect maybe that they could speak on that stuff because they're not a part of it no more. They don't have to suffer the consequences. There's no repercussions if they do, right? And see, what you are witnessing, right, and this all respects to down south, right, but this is why North Daniel rappers really will not touch on certain subjects or certain topics on certain platforms, you know, um, there's no free reign. There's no uh, liberty just to do what you want to do out there. You know, all money is not good money. And that's what people fail to realize when it comes to certain situations, you know. Um, what I think is going to happen next with Fusty? Who knows, man? Um, that's that's a, a tall order right now for a man who doesn't know anything about really that backdoor politics political maneuvering, street politics, lined up with prison politics. He's going to have a rough time if he tries to play those cards like he knows what he's doing. Because apparently he doesn't, man. That's why I think it was kind of a um, smart, if you really observe, certain channels have started to step on back from talking about certain things, right? Because somebody knows somebody who knows somebody, and somebody's going to reach out. That's how it always goes. And see, I, I was already told that a lot of this stuff on these platforms... And rappers, what people are speaking about was going to get shut down because it was a bad look at some of the stuff that people were witnessing. It's like the stuff that you see now going on with, uh, you know, people in our genre, you know, the bickering and whatnot, man. It's a bad look at times, right? Same thing with a lot of these rappers, man. And the big homies did take notice. I know that for a fact, 100%. With that said, real quick spill. Let's see how this plays out, man. Let's see if um, Swifty comes out denouncing that he's still active or or whatnot, man. Um, he kind of did do a 180 out of nowhere. And he is a lot less on social media, if you notice. Now, I wonder if that situation that happened in Sacramento where they were just in the north and, and so forth. I wonder if that had some consequences behind that, man. You never know. Think about that. With that said, your boy Flacco, Conway's perspective, smashing and dashing, I'm out.